Well, it is always a treat when we are joined by Mr. Arrowfield himself. Good morning to you, John Massara. Hi, Julie, and hi, Tim. How morning, John. Uh, what, what an autumn for Arrowfield and Arrowfield Stallion securing the two-year-old Triple Crown. Well, it's, it's a, a sort of a dream come true. It's so difficult to uh, have a, a Group 1 winner by a stallion, but to actually not chop Green the Triple Crown, the, the Golden Slipper, the size and the champagne. Wow. Well, just on that Golden Slipper, Shinzo's win in the Slipper gave champion size Snitzel his second winner of the world's richest race for two-year-olds. So that's not a bad honour either. Well, uh, Snitzel does everything. He's just such a versatile animal. He just keeps on keeping on. And he's 20 years of age, but he's as good now as he was 10 years ago. It's amazing. He's quite an amazing animal. Yeah, and now as we, we, we're looking at, uh, looking at the race here, but we look towards next year's autumn and uh, who knows which horse uh, either side by an Arrowfield stallion or another Arrowfield connection could be uh, part of the Triple Crown next year because the English Easter sale was extraordinary. You, you had 68 yearlings, uh, uh, the biggest draft yet. Yeah, it was a, it was a big task. Uh, we had 68 that qualified for the sale. We, we started off with 68 and we actually landed with 68 at the sale, which is most unusual because usually during the preparation, one or two drop off. Well, this didn't happen. So we had our hands full. We had, we had one horse every six lots, uh, which meant we were on the ball right through the sale. And the sale turned out to be a, a better sale than I thought it might be. It was buoyant at the, at the top end, a little bit weaker below at the lower end, perhaps. But overall, a very, very good sale. Yeah, just on that, there was a bit of trepidation heading into the sale, but 26 horses sold for a million dollars or more, the second highest amount uh, of millionaires at a Southern Hemisphere yearling sale. Did that surprise you, given what we'd seen in the lead up? Well, it did because sort of the, the economy was a bit toppy and people were talking about higher interest rates uh, and you felt that uh, this might affect the marketplace. But look, there were so many stallion uh, buying syndicates uh, of groups put together to try and buy colts that were turned into stallions, a bit like Shinzo and those others, militarise. And, and then there were, there were international buyers there as well. Uh, there were studs trying to buy broodmares by buying fillies, high quality fillies. So at the, the first top half of the sale was very competitive. It was less competitive in the, in the lower half of the sale, but I think that was somewhat affected by the economy as we had anticipated. But overall, the sale was terrific. Yeah, absolutely. Now we're on to the breeding season uh, for, for Arrowfield and seven stallions, including the mighty Snitzel. Yeah, yeah. Snitzel leads them again. His fee is going to be a little bit higher than last year, but not much. But I think uh, the interest in him is amazing. We, we get continuous interest in, in people wanting to use him. That it's coming, even at this age of his life, people are, are discovering him. So that's wonderful. But there's also interest in, in the other horses, such as Morris and, of course, Dundeal, who produced two of the Group 1 winners. And, and so it goes on. Uh, the Autumn Sun, a young stallion of ours that uh, has his first two-year-olds this year, uh, he's had a lot of winners and place getters out of the eight or ten horses that have raced so far. He's looking very promising. So, no, we're going into the season with a lot of uh, confidence uh, that we're going to have a good year again. Just before we let you go, John, you were so instrumental in uh, the formation of the championships concept here in Sydney for the Autumn Carnival. What did you make of this year's Autumn? It just seems there were highlights sort of everywhere you looked. And it gets better and better. Uh, and there are probably little things you can continue to adjust. But overall, I think the concept is working. Uh, the Sydney Autumn is, is all powerful. And, uh, and you, you're right. There were features over the two days that are un quite unforgettable for, for us in the industry and for those looking in from outside. No, it's working well. I have to say it's working well. And having the sales sandwiched in between means that people can come from all over the world here for a, a solid week of uh, thoroughbred racing and breeding, as it were. 
Quite appropriate that you mentioned the word sandwich because I was trying to find a way to get food into a charcuterie <laughs> and you've just I finished. Thought we just you actually dovetailed beautifully into that. So um, we'll be up there to see you soon at Arrowfield and, of course, Marzu in the Everest. And uh, great to have a chat, John.